Hi everybody, welcome to our adult craft. Uh, we're doing two a month, so this is the first one for the month. Um, but come back in two weeks and we'll do another one. For today we are making um, little crate coasters, so they look like um, those wooden crates. But we're making them out of popsicle sticks. They're very cute. Uh, we only need two things for this one. So what we need is... You'll need about 20 popsicle sticks. Uh, you could have a little bit more if you want it to be taller or a little bit less if you want it to be shorter. But I found 20 is just about right. And I'm gonna be using hot glue for this one. So I'm just using my low temperature hot glue gun. But if you don't have a hot glue gun or if you just prefer regular glue, um, Elmer's glue, bottle, white glue, or wood glue works perfectly fine. So. Uh, I like hot glue. It's just fast and pretty um, strong, but it's not the only option here. You've got a few options. Uh, so today I'm just baking the base, the coaster, and I, I like it just in the plain wood colors. But if you want, you can actually get paint or washi tape to kind of decorate it and make it a little bit uh, more fun. So our first step is we're making a square. So you're gonna do two. Oh, and I just have this cardboard as a, it's kind of a bottom, so it doesn't get messy. So we're gonna do a dot and a dot on the top, and then you wanna make it a square. So you're gonna extend and extend. Hot glue does dry fast, so be careful with that. So we're making just one square, so two on the sides, two on the top, and there we go. So that's your base. Make sure your shape is the way you like it. It's a little tilted. Uh, you might want to start over right now before you get it going. So once you got your base, get two more sticks, and you're just alternating. So I did these two underneath and these two on top. Now I'm going to do on the corners again, just a little bit of glue. I'm going to do another one on top. So that we're alternating. So that you have that little space between each of the rows. It's like a regular crate. So we got two here. We do two on the other side. Yeah, if you're using your regular glue, that is completely fine. Just let it sit a little bit longer. Hot glue dries pretty instantly, so I can show you guys and pick it up like this. But if you're using regular glue, just leave it a little bit longer. Hot glue does leave these little strings, so that's the only downside. You have to pull those off. Okay, and then I'm going to do three le levels. So I've got two here and just one here. So I'm going to keep going until I have three on both sides. And that's just my preference. That's what I like the height at. So if you wanted your height to be a little shorter, a little bit taller, that's totally fine. Just build up your base, these squares, until you like the height. So I like it at three. So I've got two on both sides now. So I'm gonna do one more box. So one more level on each side. So I get those three that I like. Okay. So that one's got three. That one's got three. The other side's got have two, so I'm gonna do one more over there. Alright, so you guys can see I've got three levels on each side, three sticks on each side, and I want it to be so that the ones that are on the top are going this way and this way, so I can put more sticks now all the way along the top. So I'm going to start with my edges again, and I'm just kind of building from there. So 
So this side will end up having four levels. And I'll show you what I mean about that. All right, so when I'm building the top, I'm gonna end up with three levels on this side and this side, and four levels on the alternate sides. Because that's the top. So now I have this many sticks, and I like to leave just a little gap between them. So you can see through it. And I just am gonna test how long I'm gonna leave that gap or if I need an extra stick maybe, so that I don't have an uneven space at the end where it's much longer than the other ones. So that actually worked out pretty well. So I just left a little gap in between each one, and I really like how it turns out. So I'm just gonna stick those on there. And I'll put it on here. So we just put a little dot of glue on each side, leave a tiny gap, and it hangs over just a little bit. If you wanted to make a smaller square where each of these hangs over a little bit more, that's up to you. So if you like that kind of design better, then that's okay. Or if you have smaller cups, this is a pretty good cup size if you're using it for a coaster like I plan to do. Just this full square size that you can make. So just a little space there. I'm going to have a little bit too big of a space, but that's okay. It definitely does not have to be perfect. I think it still looks really nice. And a big important part of doing crafts at home is just being able to work with your hands. I think that's important that we're able to do those kind of things. And fun too. Alright, so I'm on my last one. I tried to not make too much glue when I put it in, just a little. Um, so that you can't see it too much on here. So I like this natural wood look. So here's my finished coaster. I could put a cup on top of it here, put it beside the TV. I like the wood look, but if you have washi tape at home, it would be fun to put some washi tape on your sticks before you put them on the top. Or if you have paint, you could paint it now, or you could paint it before you get started. So if you like some color on it, some patterns and texture, definitely feel free to play with this. But here's your base, and you've got a nice little coaster there. All right, thank you guys for coming to this one, and I'll see you guys next time. If you make one, um, post it in the comments so I can see it. All right, bye.